the year is 1994, and there are these teens that are having to deal with these murderers. Well, this group of teens start to investigate what is really behind the seemingly normal people turning into mass murderers. And well, it's not what you think. What's going on in this 1994 town that claims they have the internet and instant messenger five years before they came online? And what life lesson can we get from Fear Street, 1994? Let's find out. This movie, Fear Street Part 1, Part 1, there's two other parts, Part 2 and Part 3. I believe Part 2 is going to be 1978, and Part 3 is going to be 1666. Ooh. And they're all connected, and they all kind of go back to the events here, and then I think, I believe what's going to happen as we watch them. Each movie that's released this month is going to go back and show a little bit more detail of each time there's these events of these murders, and then go back further to 1666, which I imagine would be the birth of it all. But this one starts in 1994. This movie reminds me of Stranger Things mixed with Scream. I say Scream because I feel like the killers are very Scream-like. And that's what makes me think, well, I think it's Scream that it feels like the way they are. But it's kind of a weird situation like Stranger Things. And it certainly reminds me of the 90s. I think that's part of why I liked it. Except, I swear there were more adults around you and you could not just break into places, schools, stores, and even pharmacies with no real consequences. Maybe I'm just not remembering the 90s right. Run! Did they get back together? Ah! Tonight's Unsolved Mystery. The story of a woman This scene definitely captures the limited adults that there are, their attitude towards these teens needing help and being chased by murderers. Yes, this movie is very generic in some of its themes of kids being murdered. It's the 90s. It's imitating the 90s murder movies with some new twists. I enjoy the actors. I enjoy the interactions. I like the little personalities they put in with each of the characters. I found myself just setting into it and enjoying the vibe of it all. She's just being nice because we're probably going to die. No, Kate is not nice. She... See something in you. See that in yourself, dude. You would not be this far if it weren't for you. This scene reminds me of how I can myself, I don't know about you guys, this is a great life lesson here to learn from this movie. There have been times in my life where there's people I met that give me good compliments, like, you're really smart, or wow, you're very good at this, you should do this more, blah, blah, blah. And I dismiss them because they said something nice or complimentary about me. I don't count them as valid as much. Have you guys ever done that where like you're like, well, that guy must be not as smart or dumb or maybe he's just trying to want something from me or he just doesn't know me that well. I'm not that good. I don't know why he's giving me these compliments. But yet, when reversed and they say something snotty, boy, howdy, I'll believe everyone could compliment me in a room of 500 people. One person walks in and says, you're stupid. Suddenly that one person's opinion is so much more important than all these other people. What? That doesn't make any sense. Believe in yourself like other people believe in you. So surround yourself with people who believe in you, who think you can do well and encourage you, and you encourage them. And together, everyone can succeed. Be supportive and caring. That's what I learned from this one. In summary, Fear Streets 1994 is not that gory in my opinion. It's also not scary at all. There's no jump scares. In fact, they didn't even try to have jump scares. But it has some great 90s music and has some great member wins. So I, was, I grew up in the 90s. And so for me, it's like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that song. There's a song, Sweet, Sweet Jane. Do, 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 sweet Jane. I love that song. I totally forgot about it. And they're playing like, cool, I love that song. So what I'm saying is the movie itself is kind of, it's unique in a way. It's kind of Stranger Things meets Scream meets a three-parter of back, going back in time or something sci-fi. I enjoyed it and I sat back and I got into it. The music is great. I can't deny it. The other thing is if you're into going back to the 90s, in this one at least, for me it was a cool reminder. And that's why I'm giving Fear Streets 1994, made in 2021, a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10. I know, I know guys, you want to keep binge watching Gringo Scott's videos. I know, if you made it this far, for sure you do. Check out this video over here. That's a great one. Or this one right here. Either way, you can keep on learning life lessons and enjoying movie reviews.